In this video, I'd like to talk about creativity. Increasing the level of creativity in my own life has been really powerful and life-changing. It's made my life more meaningful, brought so much joy and happiness to me. So in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about creativity, what it is, why it's important, and some ideas for increasing your levels of creativity. Creativity is making things, it is breaking out the rut. Creativity is doing things differently, seeing things from a different perspective. It's inventiveness, playfulness and experimentation. My idea of what constitutes creativity and your idea will be completely different and that is part of the magic. Creativity is personal and it is an expression of self. For many years I didn't do anything creative at all and that makes me sad. I now know that being creative brings pleasure, fulfilment and meaning. Creativity carries with it a sense of possibility and optimism. Creativity is a form of self-expression. It allows us to have a conversation with ourselves about our own personal fascinations and curiosities. Creativity and creating things allows our head, our heart and our hands to all work in unison. Being creative can bring joy, delight and light. But if you're not using your innate creativity, it's not just a missed opportunity, it has consequences. Brené Brown writes really powerfully about what happens to our untapped creativity. She says, Unused creativity is not benign. It metastasizes. It turns into grief, into rage, judgment, sorrow, and shame. So I like to challenge myself to be creative in small, easy, accessible ways. I like to think about how I can do things differently or in a new way to disrupt the humdrum just a little. So whether it's walking a different way to somewhere I'm going, putting an outfit together differently, cooking a new recipe, seeking an unusual ingredient, going to places I've never been before, reading up about a subject that I know very little about. I'm an artist, so I might read about an artist that I don't know much about. I might try using an art material or a way of making that I've not tried before. And I invite you to disrupt your habitual patterns just a little bit by challenging yourself to try new things or to do things in a slightly new way. I often go out looking for inspiration, actively seeking new or interesting sites and places and finding and consciously absorbing details more closely than before. I like to take notes and photograph things which surprise and delight me, things which I find beautiful or intriguing. Sometimes I just go out for a walk from my house with my camera phone to find visually pleasing details, tiny new things, new angles, new details, new perspectives around my neighbourhood, things that I may not have spotted before. Try it for yourself. See what you can find when you really pay close attention. I love the idea from Julia Cameron of an artist's date. And this is where you set a creativity date with yourself and you do something nourishing. A stolen window of time to spend on your own, doing something enchanting something creative and something fun for yourself and by yourself. Documenting ideas, capturing and curating them can also be a really useful and powerful way to bring a little bit more creativity into your life. 
I like to write down all the ways in which I could challenge myself to do things differently, the things I might like to try and I, or the things that I'm interested in. And I just keep a running list to remind me and nudge me. I might include art materials that I want to explore, artists I want to read about. I find that writing these things down helps to keep them alive and prevents them from getting lost in the ether. Now, this list can also be really useful as a route map on those days when inspiration is lacking. So that's just a few thoughts on creativity. I wish you lots of luck in all your own creative endeavours and pursuits. Creating things for the sake of creating things can be a really magical thing to do.